What's going on everybody and welcome back and to the channel. Now today we are back here to review the third and final ODI match between the West Indies and the Aussies. As you can see, the Aussies win the series 3-0. Of course, they did... No, I was about to say we won the test series. We did not. Sharma Joseph did uh, make us his son for... A test match there, so of course that ended 1-1, and now it is the clean sweep here for Australia. They will then play three T20 matches, and look, the importance of this ODI series is, is pretty much nothing. I mean, we've already played the World Cup last year. The next ODI World Cup is in, like, what, 2027? There's Champions Trophy next year. So ODI is the furthest thing away from our minds right now, but... I'm here to review this and go through a few statistics because of this one match where the West Indies have been bowled out for 86 and it now becomes the quickest ODI match, I believe, on Australian soil. But um, in the title, I am going to say, like, quickest ODI match ever. It, just a little bit of clickbait, of course, you know, but that's okay. Look, it is still holds the record for the quickest run chase in 50 over history for Australia. So pretty much the same thing, but hey, we are going to jump into this one. Should be a bit of a quicker video. So hey, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and comment down below all of your thoughts on this one, who impressed you the most. And let's get straight into it. The third ODI match. The West Indies are into bat first on a deck in Canberra, uh, where you're thinking, look, Canberra is usually known for being quite flat, quite run friendly. The pitch for that matter, you know, it wasn't an easy deck to go out there and just peel off a quick ton. But, you know, if you play the sensible innings and you build yourself into a 50 over sort of knock, it's definitely there to, for the runs. If you get settled on this pitch, you're going to be in for the long haul. And not one of them did that. Look, <laughs> some great bowling, but some just embarrassing batting from a team of that looked like Minows. You know, we don't want to say that because I literally made a video like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, saying that the West Indies are back. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I recommend it. But don't let me down now. All right, player of the series was that man Xavier Bartlett, played two games, debut series for Australia, was awesome with the ball, and in this match, four for 21 off seven, I mean, like, he, he's not bowling express, but he's getting it to swing with that white ball, it reminds me of something so familiar that I've seen for Australia, your Peter Siddles, your Hilfen Houses, your, um, I mean, even if you want to go a stretch with another bowler, who else would you kind of... I mean, that's. I think Ben Hilfenhaus is probably one of the better comparisons for that man, Xavier Bartlett. And I've never really enjoyed his cricket until this year in the Big Bash. He really did take another step and gets the honours for his country. And he's one that is going to be around the setups now for the future. So that's good to see for him. Into the scorecard, the West Indies. Here we go, Athenaise. So look... <laughs> Uh, let's give him a clap, shall we? Yeah, Athenais, well done. 32 off 60 balls, two boundaries. At least he looked like he had played cricket before. That was that was probably the only positive for the West Indies. Otley, let's talk about this. So this was the first wicket of the game. Otley, LBW to Xavier Bartlett. He didn't review it. He asked his um, teammate at the other end, Athenais, should I review that? I, is that out? For LBW, he says, no, get off, mate. He walks off. They then put it on the big screen. He has smacked the living F out of that ball into his pad. How do you not know that? <laughs> Is the bat that heavy, or not that heavy, that light and that easy to hold that you don't even know you've hit a damn cricket ball that big? Like, bro, it left a cherry this big on your bat. Pretty poor stuff, but that is what happens when uh, you're not thinking straight, I suppose. Uh, anyways, we move on to Casey Carty, who's actually been pretty impressive this series. 10 runs, not to be this time. Shy Hope, a shit shot for Shy Hope, really. I mean, for the skipper to come out, they were on the ropes early to then try and play a shot where it was it was full, it was a good length, it was there to be either driven or just played on the on offside. He tried to, like, cross bat it to the leg side and straight, like, I, I just didn't understand it. LBW, I don't, I don't really get that. Teddy Bishop, uh, 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 six-fold duck, 
He is, uh, yeah, look, I mean, he looks 12. He's very skinny and very lanky and wiry. He has a good technique, but look, he's out for zero. Lance Morris bowls him, uh, who did go off with an injury as well. Roston Chase. Anyways, let's go through this shit. It's not worth talking about. They're out for ducks, duck, duck, six. And that is all, all out for 86 after 24 overs into the bowling. Z Bartlett. Uh, Z Bartlett. That's... What? X Bartlett. Uh, four for 21 off seven. Cam Green, none for 18 off uh, three. Saba, one for 14 off four. Morris, two for 13 off four. So very impressive stuff there. And I think a lot of people, you know, Lance Morris, Spencer Johnson, they're two of those just exciting quicks in Australia right now. Adam Zampa doing the usual thing. And Will Sutherland bowling three balls and uh, not batting. So he has essentially played his debut series as, as uh, a specials fielder. That's always nice. All right, into the Aussies batting now. This is where things just get really exciting and uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Invigorating. No, that's not it. What am I looking for? Um, I, I don't know what I'm looking for here, but it makes you feel all sorts of things. If you haven't watched the highlights, go do so. Jake Fraser McGurk. I'm sure everyone knows the name by now, but if you don't, you will very soon. 41 off 18 in just his second game for the country. He he looked, <laughs> he made 10 in his first game, which looked amazing. It was one of the greatest 10 you'll ever see. He then gets into this game, opens. We've got 87 to chase down to win. Just go out there, play with the license. He did exactly that. 41 off 18, five fours and three sixes. He, like, his stroke of the ball, just his placement, his, he's a big leg side player. We obviously know that. There's a lot of strength to his game on that leg side. Um, and obviously, there is some weaknesses with, you know, like Glenn Maxwell early in his career, you know, trying to do too much too early in the innings, which is going to happen so many times with McGurk. Like, he's going to frustrate people, but when he's on, it's just, it's, it's just, it glues you to the TV. It is just much watch, must watch cricket. And every time this man plays, I will be watching. And I know that that goes for so many other Australian fans at least. So yeah, Inglis 35 off 16, whatever. I mean, he played a nice little reverse sweep there, but you know, it's, it's cool. You know, like Inglis is all right. He's a good glovesman. He's obviously a, a decent batsman. It's just, he's so inconsistent. Um, but look, do we have any other option? No, no, we don't. So that's <laughs> that's who we've got to rock with. Aaron Hardy, unfortunate. And Steve Smith, six off three, not out for the skipper. So good to see him captaining, him again, uh, captaining again. The bowlers, just a whole whole bunch of shit. So that is going to cap this one off. We will jump into the stats here actually quickly. Uh, most runs, Cardi, Green, Inglis. There was actually no century. In, uh, yeah, there was not one century in this entire series, which is kind of crazy. Inglis. Yeah, that's really rubbish there. Xavier Bartlett, eight wickets, Abbott and Moti and Zampa. And that will wrap us off. Not a whole lot to talk about from this series, except really from this one game that was just an absolute shit show from the West Indies and a very big enjoyment for watching Jake Fraser McGurk and Xavier Bartlett, two new young Aussies on the scene. It gets you excited. It makes you feel things deep inside, but hey, that will cap us off. I hope we all enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see everyone in the next one.